Okay, good evening everybody. This is the Balloon Band of Amusement with a Twist and we're doing uh, Widget from Wow Wow Wuzzy today. I'm going to not be making it with the proper colors because I don't have all the proper colors. We're going to use white, we're going to use goldenrod, we're going to use uh, rose, and we're going to use uh, what is uh, lavender. Um, and we're also going to use uh, red 160 uh, for the smaller components. Okay, so we got white, we got rose, we got uh, um, um, lavender, and red. Okay, here we go. Um, please understand this is only a concept balloon and only going by the picture that I saw. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you go uh, um, more than about 10 fingers off the nipple. Um, I accidentally blew this one up wrong. So I'm going to end up having to use two balloons in order to create this. Um, so we're going to start with our leg. We need to go two one-finger bubbles. Uh, this is going to be a double ear twist. So I'm going to get this thing to agree. Okay. Now we want to go approximately a three finger bubble, followed by a ear twist, followed by a four finger pedal twist, followed by a three finger bubble, followed by a four finger uh, pedal twist, followed by an ear twist. So this one finger inside. And you do not have to go back and forth between the um, bridge here. Uh, you can do this part here and call it done. And this will come all out of one balloon. But I'm going to use another balloon in order to finish building my, my uh, pants. I just like them a little more bulkier. Um, so with that said, we have, with one balloon, we've made our jumpsuit, okay, or if you want it more bulkier, as you can see, it's uh, two, three, uh, two, three finger bubbles side by side with uh, two finger bubbles spread across the bottom. It just your choice. I like mine to look like it's more of a pantsuit versus uh, um, just a, a bar across a letter H, whatever you want to call it. So I like it this way versus this way, but everybody has their own opinions of how they like it. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to get a white balloon. And we're going to make our sleeves. So basically what we need to do is we need to go one finger bubble, one finger bubble, and make a double lock twist. Or, sorry, yeah, double lock twist, then turn it into a double ear twist. And by pulling that nozzle all the way around, you end up with your uh, double ear twist. Okay. Before you make any more twists on this, you have to pull this into your design because trying to pull your locks or, or your bubbles through here will make it harder. Uh, so always put your arm in before making your next move. And we're only going to want about two fingers on the outside of our, uh, um, of our sleeve. And then right in the center of the design we're going to make a double ear twist so we're going to go ear twist followed by an ear twist they're one finger in size one and two and that was fun so basically you'll have what looks like a doggy bone and then it'll have a doggy bone and let me see if I can't Slide that into this set. If 
I can't, I just make that sleeve again and put it back in place. Okay, so we got it back in there. Okay, next what we want to do, we want to finish pulling this out the other side. Okay, so we want about two fingers on this side and about two fingers on this side and the reason that we're wanting to leave it a little space here is because we got to attach the head component to it so we're gonna go two fingers followed by ear twist followed by an ear twist so one Okay, so now we have our pants, suit, and we have our shirt in place. And you can adjust it accordingly after you attach your head piece. Okay? So, um, with this one, we have to make legs and arms. And in the picture, they're smaller than the suit itself or the shirt itself. So, we're going to use a 160. Not recommended to do that at home. Oh, I always, always almost pass out doing that one myself. I, I really don't think anyone should try and blow those up by mouth, but uh, I didn't want to reach over and grab my pump. I can do the 260s, not a problem. 160s and, uh, and the metallic uh, um, 260s are really, really, really tough to do. Okay, so uh, basically all I want is I want to create little bubbles that are about three fingers in diameter and pop it off. Um, make sure I got plenty of room to keep doing this. Um, okay. So, and these are three finger in size. And this will be an arm. And yes, it's not the right color. I understand that. Yes. It's supposed to be pink, but I don't have pink. Okay. So that'd be one. And we want a three finger bubble. So we have our two arms. Now we want to make our legs. So uh, our legs will be approximately, uh, let's say for this uh, setup, we're going to go four finger bubble for our legs. And I have to let some of this air out because I just got way too much air in there to make another, another twist off. Okay, and tie this one off. Okay, and that's the first leg. Okay, and then we want another leg. 
Four fingers. Pop it there. And voila. And it's back. Okay. Okay, with that said, if you want to uh, make your shoes the same color as your outfit, um, that's fine. If you want to make them a different color, that's fine. I'm going to use the same color as the outfit so that they match. Um, in the picture, it would be, uh, rose would be your jumpsuit, the shoes would be rose, uh, and, uh, um, the body would be pink. But, again, I don't have those specific components in order to make this like the picture. Okay. So, we're going to make our foot. And we're going to attach it. You can play with your dimensions on if you need longer legs, shorter legs, or however you want to make it. Or if you just want to make your legs all one piece. And that would be fine too. Uh, using a 260, just like you would do the Mario or the Minion. Just do one whole component instead of adding the, the kneecaps and all that in there. Okay, so we're going to make another foot. And these are approximately uh, three fingers in size, followed by an ear twist on the feet. Um, the only reason I didn't really uh, go over that is because most of the people who are watching these videos already understand uh, what a foot is. Um, but I'm sorry if I forgot to uh, tell you exactly what they are. Um, okay. And then we're just going to attach it by wrapping it around. I am not... Uh, um, pulling on it too tight or anything like that. So this would be our body components. Now we need to add our hand. And we're going to use the uh, uh, lilac. And just like a foot and a hand, um, you, they're basic components of every day. It's a, a one finger bubble. Followed by approximately a three finger bubble or a pedal twist. Followed by an ear twist. And that would make the glove. If you wanted, you could do a, a one finger bubble, two finger bubble. Followed by a two finger lock twist. Followed by a uh, ear twist. And that would give him uh, digits. Like two hand, uh, two fingers versus just one solid glove. Um... I can do that on the next hand and you can determine which one you like. I do the uh, uh, digit fingers on the minion. Or not the minion, the uh, LGM, sorry. I have to remember which designs I use that up for. Okay, and we would attach the arm to our glove. Okay. So our glove is on our arm. And, okay, this is, like I said, it's a one-finger bubble by approximately a two-finger bubble, followed by a two-finger lock twist, followed by an ear twist. Okay. And, as you can see, now you have 